So, Michael Matthews here, again in my shop, and uh, I've never done a shop video before, um, so let's, uh, well, this is my second video, so the first was the ball gouge. So, let's take a look around my shop. It's a mess, I haven't done any straightening up, this is the way I normally use it. So, start over here, door to the garage. Gloves, aprons, this is my Powermatic 90, bowl turning, I've got a Monster Tools hollowing articulating arm jig that I haven't used yet. I just received that required modification because it was too tall for my uh, swing, which by the way, the Powermatic has... Um, four inch lift kit on it. Four inch lift kit controls along with my lathe tools. And down below in the dust is a Baldor motor, three phase, and an inverter down below. So uh, it's a great lathe. Super great lathe. Over here I've got my Rikon 14 inch. Uh, more junk storage. I need to clean that. I need to clean that all up there. Uh, I've got a, uh, a Grizzly, uh, six inch joiner stashed back here. This is my central table saw workstation. Um, I've got a Delta, uh, Unisaw gold premium edition um, that I picked up used. It's got a router lift, a Jessam router lift in the side table which is awesome. Everything's set up for dust collection. I built the shop. This is a, a sliding homemade blast gate so I can choose either saw. I've got my rigid 13 inch toolbox planer. Awesome tool. Awesome tool. Over there is my rigid um, spindle belt dust collector. I mean uh, sander. And again you can see PVC pipe is embedded in the floor. There are locations here. There's one behind the lathe. There's one over here. The one under the saw. And they all come up in a header over there against the wall, which I guess will approach the dust collector. And they come into this pipe. I built the Thane separator sitting on top of a cardboard drum and uh, using a grizzly two horsepower uh, dust collector I discombobulated that and I hung the blower on the wall mounted it in a enclosure blowing directly outside so I have no dust collection strictly chip and dust whatever falls into the Thane separator but um, the enclosure then is Completely lined with two inch thick foam, which makes it comfortable to work in here without hearing protection. Uh, over here I have a, a small jet lathe that is sold. I'm waiting for it to be picked up. I have another small uh, lathe. I switch between big lathes and small lathes, um, depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes I drag this around in the car. Uh, for demonstrations at farms and whatnot. I've got a Ryobi um, surface sander, drum sander. Um, picked that up, was broke, fixed it. Uh, works great, super happy with it for the price I paid. Over here I've got my, um, my bench. Uh, super nice bench. Um, I did not make it. I purchased it um, from a gentleman that had made it. 
Veritas squin, twin, twin screw vise and then a uh, single screw vise over here. I got clamps hanging from these storage cabinets. I've got more stuff stashed over here. Planes, I need to build some sort of a cabinet or something to stash my planes in and, and get more order. But it's slowly coming around. Bunch of base cabinets, upper cabinets. They're all full of stuff. And then, uh, me around this way, a small Delta Shop Master that I use for quick off cuts. Um, it's got a 1 8th, 1 8th blade on it, quarter inch blade on it, so uh, tight turns, etc. Oh, I forgot. On the bottom of my rigid sander is my DeWalt um, scroll saw, type 1. Um, on a flip top cabinet a la Carl Holmgren so thank you for that design it's a little bit difficult to flip because it's dangerous uh, could catch you pinch you but uh, it works and then over here clamp cart that uh, I designed and built uh, years ago um, really need to do something different because it's got clamps on the back side that I can't get access to so, uh, and if you saw back in the corner, there's a wood storage card. I've got some more wood storage on the wall, off cuts down below. I've got more wood storage over here. Um, there's the storage cart and a uh, small tool board for measuring, marking. And, um, that's my shop. It's, uh. 24 by 36 with an 8 foot by 8 foot corner cut and that's to give extra room for the driveway. Oh yeah, Steel City uh, drill press over here, Rockwell, uh, Jaw Horse, love that thing, it's a super great tool. Oh, and my saw stop, yeah, my saw stop, uh, love this thing, uh, it's the best saw that I've ever owned. Um, super happy with it super happy so um, down here is a um, mortising tool that uh, I haven't used a lot again bought it used some of the chisels were damaged working on cleaning them up and a Freud uh, chop saw that I rarely use that uh, probably needs to go away so anyway um, that's kind of a brief uh, quick tour of my shop um, thanks for watching again uh, Michael Matthews um, take care